In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for K2S plus CuNO3 2, potassium sulfide plus copper 2 nitrate. So the first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. We can see that we have two potassium atoms here, just one here. Let's put a two here. They're balanced, but now we have two nitrates, but that's good. We have two nitrates here, and then we have sulfur, sulfur, and copper, copper. This is the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the states for each substance. If you know your solubility rules, potassium, that's very soluble. So this is going to dissolve, dissociate into the ions here. Nitrates, also very soluble, little AQ, potassium nitrate, that'll be soluble. And then we have this copper to sulfide. In general, sulfides are insoluble. They won't dissolve. And copper to sulfide, that's insoluble. So we're going to put an S because it won't dissolve. It's a solid. And when these two react, it'll fall to the bottom of the test tube in a precipitation reaction. Our potassium sulfide, that's one of the exceptions. Sodium and potassium sulfides, they are soluble. So we have the states for our net ionic equation. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions, and that'll give us the complete ionic equation. Potassium on the periodic table, group 1. So that's 1 plus sulfide ion, that's 2 minus. So we have two potassium ions. And I'll write the states later, plus the sulfide ion, S2 minus. Then copper, we don't know the ionic charge of copper, but we do know nitrate. That's always minus 1. The whole thing is minus 1. Since we have two of them, 2 times minus 1, this has to be 2 plus. That's why we call it copper 2. So we have our copper 2 ion, and then we have two of these nitrate ions. And those are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, potassium and then that nitrate ion. So we have 2K plus in the products, just like the reactants, plus two of the nitrate ions, just like the reactants. And then in net ionic equations, we don't split solids apart. So we're just going to write CUS. And this is the complete or total ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. When I look at the reactants here, I see two potassium ions. I also see it here in the products. Cross that out. Two nitrate ions in the products, two nitrate ions. So those can go. But what's left, that's the net ionic equation here for K2S plus CuNO3 2. I'll clean it up, write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for potassium sulfide plus copper to nitrate. You'll note that charge is conserved. We have a 2 minus here and a 2 plus. That adds up to a net charge of 0. This is a neutral compound here, net charge of 0. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. Sometimes the positive charge is put first, the positively charged ion. It doesn't really matter. It's the same thing. Maybe this looks a little bit nicer. Either way, this is the balanced net ionic equation for potassium sulfide plus copper 2 nitrate. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.